I have not been uh, even remotely uh, interested in the 2024 election because it has seemed to me to be very simply a rehash and a recapitulation and a regurgitation of the usual, the usual stuff. The usual stuff, the usual droning happens, the, 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 the litany, all right? The pablum. Now, do you know what happened? You know what changed everything? Bobby Kennedy Jr. Bobby Kennedy Jr. for the first time is asking questions that we have been asking the whole time from Biden, and that is, what's going on? What are you going to do about the border? The border? What are you going to do about? What are you doing? What are you going to do about crime? What are you going to do about Title Forty Two? What are you do? What are you going to do? How does this make any sense? He's even questioning. He's even questioning the Russia Ukrainian narrative. This is incredible. Not to mention, of course, his vaccine position, which you just don't touch, and only a Kennedy can do this. This is third rail stuff, my friends. This is something that you can't even, this is something you can't believe in terms of how tumultuous this is, how cataclysmic this is. Because let's face it, up till now, Trump and DeSantis have let me, left me cold. They're talking more about to each other and they've almost been reiterating and rehashing the same issues. And as far as Trump goes, God bless him for what he did. This ain't 2016 anymore. And if I hear one more time between him and Kerry Lake about how this election was stolen, I don't know what I'm going to do. That doesn't resonate, as George W. Bush would say. Listen to me. Listen to what I'm telling you. Bobby Kennedy Jr. in this mixture has changed everything. It's changed the calculus of everything because he can get in and ask questions as a Kennedy and nobody else can. And by the way, Gavin Newsom right now is looking at what? $1.2 million, perhaps, a proposed reparation payment to California black citizens? What? Now, up till now, up till now, he could say, well... I could take my time and let the various organizations and committees decide what's best, and then I'll kind of wade into the middle of the the issue and weigh in and wade in, give people what I think, but I'm going to take my time because after all, I'm Gavin Newsom and everything's great. Well, now Bobby Kennedy's involved, and now he is asking questions that only a Democrat and only a Kennedy can ask, and it's fantastic. And I'm loving this beyond anything you can imagine. I'm loving this. And I'm telling you right now, I know more people who are saying about Bobby Kennedy, you know what, this guy's good. He's a Democrat. Oh, he's saying the right stuff. Do you really think, do you honestly, look at me, do you really think there's a difference between Democrats and Republicans? I know Tucker Carlson, everybody's talking about Tucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson. The Uniparty, they've been talking about the Uniparty since the 40s, since Wendell Wilkie. I hate to break it to you. It's not that big of a deal. And I'm also going to say something. I've got a lot of respect for Tucker, a lot of respect, but he hasn't said anything that's been that fascinating. He's a little bit of a limited hangout. You know it's true. Nothing he said is really that great. You know what I mean? He's just, and, and he, he's, he's a lot like Trump. Tucker loves being Tucker. Trump loves being Trump. Tucker thinks it's about me. It's about me. I'm daring to speak out. I'm daring to speak out. How dare you? Oh, you want to get rid of me? Are you crushing me because you're trying to get... Are you kidding me? I don't want to relitigate that thing. But this, if you think bouncing Tucker was some kind of a statement against by the deep state against... Stop it. There were other things. Shareholder derivative suits, the Ray Epps litigation, and the fact that he has become, frankly, oh, what's the term, a pain in the neck for I don't know how long. But I don't want to get off into that. I want to pay attention to what's going on right now. Biden has never been able to answer what's going on. Mayorkas, nobody regarding the border. Nobody. They never answered the question. They just never answered the question. They never answered the question. Let me say this again. They never answered the question. They just walked off. They just walk off. They do their thing and they go, okay, that's it. That's the end of it. It's the end of all of it. 
But if you think that's fair, if you think that makes sense, if you like that, go ahead. Vote for Biden. But let me tell you who has changed the calculus of everything is Bobby Kennedy Jr. And also, if he decides to team up with Tulsi Gabbard, oh, and Tulsi Gabbard with the whole Yvonne DiCarlo, you know I'm sexy. Thank you, Tucker. You know I'm sexy. Please. But now, now she's making sense. If she tones that down and gets to the message and starts grabbing rational, reasonable Democrats by the lapels and say, what about the border? Now, let me tell you something. If you're a Republican, whatever that means, you may have to hold your nose on some of these issues and vote for Bobby K. Okay? Can you imagine a debate? How about a debate between Joe Biden and Bobby Kennedy? Oh, my God. And, 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 and you know... You know the deep state, the police state, the intel state, the shadow government, they're, they're not going to let him get away with this. I'm not saying that. I know what you're thinking. I'm not saying that. God forbid. No, I'm talking about just politically destroying him. Even, the, even, his, even his quizzling family are coming out writing these articles. We love our brother and cousin, but we don't agree with him. Oh, shut up. He's the only one with intestinal fortitude out of that whole group. I kind of like Bobby in a way. Bobby says, I'm not the pretty boy. I'm not John Jr. I've had my troubles. I've got my problems. I'm no, you know, I'm not perfect. But he stuck to his guns. He cared about the water and he cared about the environment and he cared about children. And that's something that we cannot have enough of. Actually caring for children and asking questions, daring to ask questions about biomedical tyranny biomedical uh, martial law, and biomedical autonomy. That's all. And if you got a problem with that, well, you're in the minority because most people think those are good questions. So get ready, my friends. The calculus of everything has changed drastically. 2024 just changed. And Bobby Kennedy on the Democratic side is going to change the direction, the convection, the vectors, the the angles, if you will, of the Republican discussion platforms and matrices. You watch what happens. These are exciting times. This this is, and by the way, if they tell you Bobby Kennedy's at 19%, he's at 29%. And if they tell you that Joe Biden just bought about at 36%, it's 26%. They lie to you. They've lied to you since the beginning. They don't know how to tell the truth to you because the truth will destroy them. The truth will set you free. The truth will completely cause their synthetic little tissue-thin Potemkin village to collapse at free fall speed. What do you think? Like this video. Subscribe to my channel. And whatever you do, and I mean this sincerely, comment as you see fit.